You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. Okay guys, so I'm rummaging through my recipes and I had a keto garlic knots. And I thought, have we done them before? So I went back, we've done a lazy man garlic knots, which I believe is in the cookbook. By the way, get the cookbook, it's only $5 right now. It has all my lazy man recipes all in one book. So today we're doing keto garlic knots. We've already done the lazy version. Now it's for the keto version. It looks delicious. The pictures look great. So let's get started. You know, I'm not sure why I run on the ingredients. I really don't need to. They're listed down below, but I'm doing it anyway. Because it feels good. So here's almond flour. Here's garlic powder. Salt, mozzarella, egg, garlic, baking powder, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, and Italian seasoning, and butter. All right, let's mix the dry ingredients first. The almond flour. This has got the bacon powder, salt, garlic, and the Italian seasoning. Give that a quick little stir to get it all mixed up. Okay, now we're gonna pop our cheeses in. Ready? This one, there we go. Good. We'll take some of our, our mozzarella. Put that in there. Remember the, uh, the recipe is down below. Okay. Now before you mix this, zap this for about 45 seconds. Perfect. It's a little gooey. Give that a good mix. Should be kind of doughy right now. So once you get to this point, go ahead and put your egg in and work that in. You're going to work that into a dough too. Okay guys, see the eggs all worked in. Looks beautiful. Now you're going to break this out into eight sections. So now what we're going to do is take one of these. My hand is just washed. Take one of these. Gosh, this is sticky by the way. Roll them into a really thin dough, okay? Uh, I'll show you right now. Now you can see how Tammy's doing it. She's gently rolling it back and forth. Each one should do that. If it tears apart, stick it back together again. Okay. Once we get it in a nice long shape, we're going to proceed to try and knot it. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to eat it. So, no need to have perfect. Okay, guys, so we got some melted butter in here. Let's doctor this up a little bit with some fresh garlic. A little Italian seasoning. Give that a quick little stir and start brushing each one. The very last step, take some Parmesan cheese, sprinkle on each one, get all messy with it. This is why we love doing these recipes first and not practice. These look horrible but they smell amazing. We're hoping that the flavor will overtake how bad these look. We did bad on the, on the pound cake. We did bad on this recipe. I would put these in the refrigerator for a while before you put them in the oven. But uh, once again, these smell good. Garlic, seasoning, cheese. We're gonna try them in a minute, let them cool. Okay, so at least you guys believe that I really am truthful and I even show you when I fail. The shape we failed on. Doesn't look like a garlic knot. But the smell, smells great. Cheesy. Yeah, we just didn't get the shape. This is really good. Are these good? Yeah. Do they look horrible? Yeah. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode.